Hey everybody, TH back with you for another beer review on a Sunday evening, or a late Sunday afternoon. I don't know what the hell time it is, I've been fucking around all day. So, uh, let's take a look what we got here. This is Florida Man Double IPA from Cigar City Brewing. There's a little blurb online I would like to read to you. Hang on. Do, do, do. The world needs heroes. In our home state of Florida, only a very special hero will do. A hero with a shark tooth around his neck, a green reaper, blah, 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 blah. Double, it's a, our beloved Florida man with a big old double India pale ale brew with a nearly criminal amount of hops and moderate bitterness that just about matches Florida man's general disposition. This hopped up whopper of a bear is a big in character and guaranteed to sear itself in your memory, just like the world's worst superhero. Florida Man. So, we're familiar with Florida Man and his antics. All these crazy dudes in Florida smoking meth and wrestling alligators and having sex with alligators and making soup out of alligators and all sorts of fun shit like that. But I guess they made a beer to commemorate all those crazy methed out guys that the news cameras just can't stay away from. But uh, as far as ingredients go, we got a modern double IPA with tropical expressionism from its blend of American hops, including Citra, Azaka, Eldorado, and Mandarin Bavarian, is balanced by delicate. <laughs> from a unique double IPA yeast and a dash of Canadian honey malt. Here is a review. This person gave it a 4.78 out of 5. I don't care how it pours, as long as it doesn't clog up my throat, I don't care how it smells, as long as. The exhaust isn't absurd. I do care how it tastes, especially when it tastes like a real beer, unwatered, uninterrupted, unquestionably a brew. I also care how many cans I can put down in a given amount of time without having to worry about calling an Uber or lawyer. And I've said for a man that's good, palatable brew that can be consumed both responsible and irresponsible patrons. Buy both irresponsible and irresponsible patrons. If you want a light beer, just add water. Okay, all right. So this is pretty heavy stuff, as most double IPAs are. Let's go ahead, shut that off. Got some reviews and stuff in. I'm already six minutes in. I'm going to edit. I have to edit so much of this. Okay. There we go. All right. Cracking her open. We're doing our first pour. First pour, baby. All right. Let's angle the glass a little bit. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's stop fucking around. Let's have our first sip. Oh, man. That's hoppy. That's got a big hoppy, citrusy taste to it. It kind of, the first, your first sip, when you first drink it down, the first mouthful or whatever you want to call it, I'm trying to be careful of the words I use because all sorts of people watch these videos and they're probably thinking, ooh, that's, that's what she just, said. Yeah. Ooh, he talked about mouthfeel. <laughs> a bunch of fucking middle schoolers watching this shit, I swear to God. But, uh, yeah, when you first drink it, it kind of hits you with the hop flavor, and then it kind of has like a hoppy, not a hoppy, but like a citrusy kind of finish. That's probably, uh, this is, this not really a hazy IPA, but still tastes pretty good. It's a tall boy. You picked this up for about three bucks. Um, let's have a little bit more. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's strong. That's really strong. It's very full-bodied, as most double IPAs are. You can feel it when you drink this beer. It is not a light beer, but uh, let's, let's uh, finish up this this glass. Oh. Oh, me. Oh, my. I'll probably drink the rest of this off camera, but, yeah, that really, you know, maybe a little bit more, just a skosh more. A little more than that. Ugh. I'm trying to drink these a little bit slower. It's not working. You de it's definitely very heavy. It's a very heavy beer. Let me have another sip and give it a little bit more. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. It kind of tastes like... I don't know. I had that, that hot citrus 
It's not... I'm trying to think of another brewery that makes something similar to this. I'm kind of coming up blank. Maybe like Founder Centennial IPA. But this hits harder than that as far as I'm concerned. I mean, Founders is good, but I'm going to... Let me finish up, pour the rest of this can out. I drank that quick. I drank that real quick. But here's the can art. Pretty cool looking. It's like it's like a light blue color. Got a little cartoon of an alligator eating a beer can on there. Very interesting. But yeah, you know, it's good. Um, It's very strong. Like if you're kind of graduating, if you're like new to IPAs and you're kind of sticking to like some of the low ABV stuff, like some of the lighter bodied IPAs and whatnot, and you want to graduate to, you want to move on to the next level, uh, oh, there it goes. I've been waiting to do that for like five minutes. Uh, uh, oh. God damn, it feels good. But uh, I recommend this. I, You know, it's, it's good. You actually feel like you're drinking an IPA. It's not too fruity. It's not too sour or bitter. It blends the flavors very well. It's got a good mouthfeel, good finish. Um, it's good balance of hops. It doesn't taste weird. It it's very strong, though. So um, it kind of hits you. There's no weird bitter aftertaste. It's not like, like some of the other IPAs I could mention. But there's not much fruit in there. Um, it's definitely a citrus blast, though. Some of these guys take these citrus hops and just go ape shit with them. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, and subscribe. If there's any beers you'd like me to try, leave them in the comment section below. But I've been TH. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.